In this video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up a uh, Lenovo C series all in one computer running Windows 10 that I uh, purchased from my local Office Depot store. So I've cut the top of the box open, and so reaching in here, you can see I, this is uh, obviously the power. Power brick. So this particular computer comes with a power brick as opposed to having it built into the computer. Uh, let's see, this would be the uh, keyboard. So we'll set it down right here. And what else is down in there? Okay, I'll go ahead. Well, I'm going to have to set this down, it looks like. So I have uh, removed the contents of the box, and so we have uh, obviously the uh, it's a wired mouse right there if I aim the camera properly, and then this is part of the uh, base that holds the thing up, and then the rest of the unit is uh, contained right here in this uh, in this uh, foam packing material. And right here, attached, obviously, to the bottom of the unit is a piece of metal that forms part of the uh, base that attaches, you know, that, that attaches to this, and that's what uh, holds the thing up. So the next step is to uh, remove the uh, rest of the packaging and start setting the thing up. Okay, so here is the unit with the uh, packing material removed, as well as uh, the base attached. It's a very uh, solid metal base that uh, is easily attached with uh, two screws uh, that are, uh, they're more like little bolts that uh, are set up in such a way that uh, they can be hand tightened. So no tools are actually required, although you could use a screwdriver. And so now we'll come around and if the light is good enough, you can see the uh, back of the unit back here. And of course down there is where we uh, have some USB ports, an ethernet port, uh, etc. And on the side, uh, this unit does have, uh, I believe it has an HDMI port, as well as SD card reader, and uh, audio in and out ports. And then this unit also does come with a, uh, a uh, CD, CD DVD writer, which is kind of nice to have uh, sometimes, even though... I don't particularly use them a lot, but uh, it's nice to have an integrated uh, if you need it. And then, of course, down here on the side, uh, you have the uh, power button, and I think that's probably a sleep, uh, maybe a sleep button on there as well. So I've moved it, the uh, computer into where I'm going to be uh, using it. And uh, I've got everything hooked up, I believe. So I'm going to be uh, powering it on here for the uh, first time. So we'll turn it on and see what it, uh, steps it'll probably take me through. Okay, so the light there came on. Okay, well the phone rang while I was... Uh, right after I turned this on and uh, so it got interrupted but the, the screen came up uh, very quickly and I've been on the phone ever since so let's see uh, I don't know how well that is showing up right there so I'm just gonna quickly go through this uh, okay what time zone are you in everything else is correct so we're gonna say uh, let's see Cent okay, Mountain Time, Central Time, U.S. and Canada. Okay, so next. Uh, 
It's thinking. Okay, terms of service. Okay, accept. All right, and then we want to pick the... Which network should I pick? Probably that one for right now. And let's see. Put in the... Uh, Password for the router. Okay. Oops, I didn't get it right. Let's try that again. Yeah, I missed some numbers right there a while ago, I believe. Okay, next. Okay, verifying and connecting. Okay, get going fast. Uh, let's see, use Express settings. Just a moment. Okay, we're setting things up. Okay, well, while I was messing with the camera, it said getting critical updates, and then it said back in a moment, and now it's saying just a moment. So, uh, not sure what's going on. I think it probably retrieved something from the internet. But, uh, there we go, blank again. And we'll, okay, Lenovo, so it's obviously it downloaded something from the internet and now it's in the process of uh, restarting and probably applying those express settings that I chose. Okay, so it's applying the settings. This is, makes for boring YouTube videos, obviously. <laughs> uh, this machine is a touch screen it's I think it was maybe 20 I'm not sure how many inches it is I'm gonna to have to look or actually perhaps measure it would be a good idea uh, obviously it's touch it does come with a wired keyboard and wired mouse but I'm willing to overlook that because uh, it was only uh, uh, $450 and then plus tax so that, that was pretty reasonable for this powerful of a machine. It has a one terabyte hard drive, and I believe it's uh, one of the more powerful um, newer AMD processors. So let's see. Uh, your personalized experience. Okay, so let's see. So I want to put in my uh, email address. Okay, and let's see, okay, all right, and then we're going to tap on sign in, and that should be my Microsoft account, that's what it was looking for, I believe. Okay, set up a pin. Uh, password, you'll love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Set up a pin. Uh, so, let's see. And then we have to tab down. Confirm the pin. And then tap on OK. And it's setting up a pin. And it's saying just a moment. Okay, there's Cortana. Uh, I don't really care about that for the moment, so let's go on next. Uh, I already picked up my information ID. 
Okay, protect stuff. Okay, next. So I'm already signed in with... Uh, I have a Windows 10 on a Microsoft uh, Surface Pro 3 that came with Windows 10 that I recently got. And I've been so enamored with it that I uh, decided I would just go ahead and get a... Uh, big touch screen for here at home uh, and kind of get rid of the at least or put into the background the machines that I've had here at home that are several years old I've uh, got uh, primarily what I've, I use I've got one older PC running Windows Vista which is horrible and uh, some newer Max, I've got, uh, although at this point they're not newer, the newest one that I have is probably 2009 or 2010, uh, I think 2010 I believe, so those are five years old and uh, I, the Max are, I've determined are just too expensive. Uh, and and I don't like the way what Apple has done with the newer the newest version of the operating system OS 10. Uh, they've got too many pastels in it. It's hard to look at. It it's really uh, it maybe they're trying to make it look pretty. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it look pretty and fresh and new and exciting and. Uh, you know, make it more exotic looking, but uh, as far as being practical, not so much. And then the other problem that I found with the newest version of OS X, El Cap, so-called El Capitan, is that it uh, there's a lot of things in there that are broken, including uh, network problems. I was uh, having a terrible time keeping the uh, machine uh, attached to... Uh, a network attached storage device, uh, Western Digital MyCloud, that normally uh, is just 100% reliable, always shows up on every device, uh, including the prior versions of OS X, but all of a sudden with El Capitan, it uh, keeps losing contact with that network attached storage drive, including. Uh, you know, it even lost connection while I was uh, transferring a file. So that's kind of one of the reasons I uh, decided to kind of go back to Windows. And, and as I say, I, I've already had a, I've had a little bit of experience with Windows 10. And I must say, I really do like it. And so this, what we're looking at now is the uh, desktop. And so there is the uh, start menu. And... Uh, it has one of the nice things about Windows 10 is if you have put in a Gmail address it automatically picks everything up and from Gmail from Google and uh, so I've already because of that I've already uh, got my uh, Google contacts uh, syncing to the uh, right to the computer right to Windows 10 and uh, there we go, we got an update is being installed. OneDrive is being updated to the latest. So at this point I'm going to let this machine just uh, kind of run whatever updates it needs to run and it looks big and beautiful. Really nice machine, touch screen, seems very fast. Uh, as I said, ter one terabyte hard drive. Uh, all uh, from uh, Office Depot for f the very reasonable sum of uh, $449, $449, and then, of course, plus tax. Uh, so that is uh, kind of the unboxing and a quick setup of uh, Lenovo C-Series, all-in-one desktop machine. Okay, well, I thought the video was over, but I wanted to make a little uh, addendum. Right now I'm uh, downloading some stuff so from the Internet. So in the meantime, I uh, decided to check out the most important app in uh, 
every copy of Windows, and this has been true for years and years. And of course, what am I talking about? Uh, Solitaire. So they've got all these different versions of Solitaire. And so we're going to, I'll just show you the, the Klondike version, and I already know how to play it, so do not show this again. And uh, so that's very similar to uh, uh, what people have known and loved in uh, Windows for uh, probably 25 years or more. So uh, the most important application ever in Windows. Um, I'm sure many people are familiar with this.